Physical therapy is the treatment of an injury, disease, or deformity by the use of massage, exercise, or heat treatment. As rabbits age, changes to mobility, or the pet's ability to move around, may occur from age-related changes to joints and muscles, spinal injuries, or infections like E. caniculi. Physical therapy may be recommended for a number of conditions to prevent further loss of mobility and maintain quality of life. Physical therapy is not meant to be used in place of medications, but is one part of managing mobility changes. Consequences of not maintaining mobility for a rabbit may include chronic GI stasis, urinary sludge, fecal and urinary scalding, or degenerative splay leg. There are several types of physical therapy, including passive range of motion therapy, exercise, hydrotherapy, treadmills, laser therapy, acupuncture, and regenerative medicine. Passive range of motion therapy is the gentle manipulation of limbs and joints in a manner that stretches muscles. In the rabbit, passive range of motion therapy can loosen stiff joints, reduce pain by increasing circulation, and prevent muscle loss. Hind limb exercises. To begin hind limb passive range of motion, begin by holding your pet in the C position. This hold is designed to prevent injuries from kicking by scooping the pelvis into a tilt. Once comfortable, begin by using gentle but firm pressure just above the knee to extend one back leg into full extension. Depending on your pet's range of motion, this may stop before full extension is reached. In these tight areas, hold with gentle pressure to allow stretching for two to three slow counts. Next, bring the foot into the body and put the leg into full flexion. This is the counter stretch. Repeat this process on each back leg for about 10 repetitions if your pet will tolerate it. It may take some time for some rabbits to get used to this handling and a second person may be needed to help. Front limb exercises. Front limb exercises are very similar to hind limb exercises, but the holding position can be done with your pet sitting comfortably in your lap. You may want to face the rabbit towards your body to keep them from attempting to jump off your lap. Begin by extending one front leg into full extension, holding in tight areas for two to three slow counts, and then bringing the leg into full flexion. Assisted walking. Rabbits with severe hind limb arthritis or spinal disease from trauma or E. caniculi may need to practice walking. Do not begin assisted walking until directed by your veterinarian. To begin, find a towel or scarf to loop under your pet. For back limb weakness, place the scarf towards the back of his body. For front limb weakness, place it near the front part. Gently lift your pets so they are able to bear some weight but will not fall over. Some pets will be very motivated to move around their environment and others may need encouragement from treats to move forward. The length of time for assisted walking should be determined by a veterinarian. Head tilt rabbits. Physical therapy will not permanently correct chronic head tilts in rabbits suffering from E. caniculi infections or other diseases. However, physical therapy can strengthen and stretch the muscles of the neck, allowing some rabbits to regain some normal positioning. Begin with the patient in a normal, upright position. Gently reposition your rabbit's head to a normal, neutral position and hold for a moment. For more questions about physical therapy or a referral to a rehabilitation facility, please contact your veterinarian.